Welcome back to a new tutorial, Benoit Farine for Ben Explorer. In this module, we are going to set up the tutorial files that we will be using throughout the next modules of this tutorial. The files and the project I'm using for this tutorial are available for download. I will often make use of these files in this tutorial, so please download and install them on your system. The link to the tutorial files is provided in the description section of this tutorial. You can also just click the Tutorial Files button to download the files. Once downloaded, place the file on your desktop. Then unzip the file and you should now see the folder Tutorial Files on your desktop. I'll discard the zip file as I don't need it. Double click on the Tutorial Files folder and you'll see four folders. Audio, Images and Video. These are the folders that contain the media files for this tutorial. Projects. This folder contains the Adobe Premiere project files for the tutorials. I will be adding new files as I build new modules for this tutorial, so I recommend you regularly update the tutorial files in order to use the latest version. I'm using Premiere 2018 as I'm building these tutorials. Your version of Premiere might be different, and if that is the case, then you will be prompted to convert the project. Also, I created these projects on my own system, and the media I imported to these projects is located on my own disk and my own path structure. So, you do have a different file structure. So, the first time you'll open my projects, you'll need to relocate data. Premiere offers a very easy way to do this. I would like to take a minute and go through this with you knowing this will make things smoother as we go through the different modules of this tutorial. We are launching Premiere, and after a few seconds, the start screen will display. From here, I will click Open Project to open an existing project. Note that if Premiere started without a start screen for you, you will use File Open Project. So whether we open the project from the File Open menu or from the start screen, the open project window now displays. The project file is within the tutorial files on the desktop, so navigate to the desktop, open tutorial files, and open the projects folder. The projects folder contains several project files that we will be using during this tutorial. For now, I will open a project that will prompt us to convert the project to the version of Premiere I'm currently running. Premiere will also ask to relocate the media, so I'll select this project example and I click Open. The scratch disk error is displayed for me. I can safely just say yes, but basically this dialog tells us that the previous version of Premiere that I used to create this project used a different scratch disk location. The convert dialog now shows up. It just tells us that the project I'm opening was created from a previous version of Premiere and that the project now needs to be converted. In this dialog, I can see that a new project will be created. It will be placed in the same folder along with the original project file name within the tutorial folder on the desktop. By default, the new project name is that same name as the original and happens underscore one. I could change this, of course, but I prefer to use the default, and I click OK. Premiere now converts the project file. Premiere wasn't able to map the media in this project to the files on the disk. In fact, there are 22 files that Premiere cannot find on our disk. We see them here in the Link Media window. Now look at bikewheel.jpg, for example. When I created the project, the file bikewheel.jpg was located in this folder, D, data, projects, etc. Obviously, this path does not exist on our system, but the file bikewheel does exist in the tutorial files on our desktop. So all we need to do is relocate the file to our desktop path. So I'm selecting bikewheel, and I click locate. I will navigate to my C drive and navigate to the desktop. Here we can get to the tutorial folders. I know that I'm looking for an image. The extension is JPEG. So the file is most probably in the image folder. So I open images and here is our file, 
bike with the JPEG. Select the file and let's just verify that the previous path and file name matches the one we are selecting here. Look at last path. The file name matches with the name of the file selected within the new path. This is the correct file. Click OK and from this point, given that the file structure matches against all the other files that Premiere needs to relocate, Premiere will relocate automatically all the other files for us. And the project is now open and ready for use in Premiere. Underscore 1 indicates that the file was converted. And the next time I reopen this project, I'll make sure to use the underscore 1 version and Premiere will ask neither for the conversion nor for relocating media files as it knows exactly where to find those files now. In this module, we downloaded and unzipped the tutorial files that we will be using all along with the different modules of this tutorial. I also showed you how to convert a project file and how to relocate media to ensure that the project file is fully compatible to your version of Premiere and to your environment. In the next modules, we will often refer to the tutorial files, to the media and to the project files.